the French kiss. How many of us have been victim to this intimate activity? Before you know it, you have been swept off your feet and are dancing happily in a magical world. Hi, I am Athenia from Lip Dip by Athenia Henderson. And today we are discussing the French kiss. And before you say this has nothing to do with lips, it absolutely has everything to do with lips. Have you ever tried kissing without lips? I thought so. While French kissing began appearing in conversations during the 19th century, it took off in the early 20th century. The term French kiss entered the English language in the early 1920s. French kissing was given the name to the open mouth with tongue entanglement, which seemed to be the way the French conducted their business. It was actually non-French people who experienced kissing French people, and that is what gave it its name. The French, however, refused to adopt the name French kiss as they were not comfortable with others adding words to their language. The French just called it kissing. They did not even have their own term for the type of kiss. It wasn't until about 2013 that the word was officially accepted in the French dictionaries. They did not want anybody putting words in their mouth literally. I have a list that you should not do when French kissing. This will get you labeled as a bad kisser. So here goes. Do not group your partner unless you're invited to. Hold back on saliva and the amount that is shared with your partner. Do not bite down on the tongue. This may cause your partner pain and the experience is supposed to be pleasurable, not painful. Do not assume that the kiss will lead to further intimacy. Always be invited for seconds. Don't talk. Ew. Don't bite the lip. That also hurts and can cause bruising. Avoid knocking your partner's teeth. And for sure, don't say the wrong name before or after the kiss. Other things that can get you in trouble and labeled a bad kisser. If there is no tongue action. If your eyes are open. If you do not tilt your head and you're just bumping the other person's nose. If you shove your tongue all the way down your partner's throat. Again, ew. How to perform a good basic French kiss. Face your partner. Get comfortable. Lean into your partner. Touch your lips with their lips. Part your mouth and use your tongue to excite your partner. You may reach in and out of the mouth several times during the kiss. It may help if you are intimate to hold each other or cup each other's faces. The intensity of the kiss will depend on the parties involved. Closing the eyes enhances the experience. I'm about to try this French kiss right now. Eric? Eric? Hey, Eric! Come here, Eric. Come here right now. Yes, what do you want? Oh, there you are. It's French kissing time. I'm going to be right back. I'll try this for myself. <laughs> 